Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, HMI and SCADA Specialist with PCC, and today I'm going to introduce you to a very cool feature in the Siemens HMI software that's called the HMI Design Styles and Design Sheets. Utilizing HMI Design Styles, you can provide a very consistent look and feel to your project or very quickly change the overall appearance of your HMI project as well. The Design Styles can also be used to set the default um, attributes for your object. So for example, if you wanted to insert a text object and always have the text field centered every time you insert a text field, you can do that with the design styles. So to get started with the design styles, the first thing that you need to do is in your project tree is locate the common data area and then underneath that there's a section called styles. So what I'm going to do is right click and open and this is going to open up the design styles. So these are going to dis or this is going to display the predefined styles from Siemens. Uh, there are four different styles. There's the dark, which we're looking at right here. There's the WinCC fresh look. There's the WinCC light look. There's the WinCC wireframe look. I'm going to select the WinCC dark as my starting point. When you look at a design style, if you scroll through, you'll be able to see all the different objects that can be utilized within your HMI application. So when you work with the design style, you have the ability to set all of the default attributes or properties for, um, for a particular design style. So you can also create your own. So if I wanted to edit this, I could duplicate the dark style and then create my own version of that style if I would like to. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you how the design styles ultimately work. So I've got the WinCC dark selected for my overall project. The next thing that I would do in my project tree is I would go to my runtime settings. Under general, there's a section where you can select to have the default style of the project applied to every HMI device or applied to this HMI device you know, within your project. If I uncheck this box here, now I can select the individual style that this HMI would use. Okay. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to use the, you know, the default style of the project. So that is going to be the WinCC dark uh, setting. All right. What I'm going to do is show you how you can apply styles in your project. So I'm going to go over to my demo screen. And then in the toolbox area, okay, there's a drop down here that allows you to pick you know, from some of the predefined you know, default values for objects or use the project or, or tie each individual object to the actual project design style. Well, to start, I'm just going to pick the dark default values. So if I take a push button object and drag that out onto the screen, right now, if I look at the style slash design settings for this button, this box is not checked, meaning that this object is not tied to the actual project style. Okay. However, if I change this drop down in this box over here on my toolbox to use, devi use device style design, now if I bring in a push button object, okay, and draw that onto my screen, okay, now because of this setting here, this box is checked. So this object is now tied to the project style that I have selected. Okay. So to show you how this works, or so the difference between these two, what I'm going to do is do a split view. Okay. And then I will select the styles to show up in one of my views. All right. So on the left hand side, I'm looking at my screen. Right now the WinCC dark style is selected, but if I pick the WinCC fresh, this object here is going to take on the new appearance because it's tied to the project style. If I pick WinCC light, this object changes. The first button is not tied to the project style because of that checkbox that I showed you. All right? So if I leave it as WinCC dark, okay, you can see how I can very quickly change the, you know, the attributes you know, that are associated with my project. All right? So I'm going to close the split view and I'm going to go back to my demo screen. All right? And then I want to create my own style. So on the right hand side, of my development environment over here, there's a Libraries tab. So I'm going to select Libraries tab. In the Project Library, there's a section that's called Types. This is going to allow me to add in a new type. So I'm going to double click, Add New Type. And then one of the choices here is going to be HMI Style. Okay, so I'll change the name of it. And I'm going to call it my PCC Style. Okay, and I'll say OK. 
This will open up the style editor. All right. When I look at the style editor, you can see my PCC style here is in work, meaning that I'm editing this style at this point in time. So what I want to do is change some of the default attributes that are associated with the various objects. So if I look at buttons first, if I highlight a button, all right, here's the text format. So maybe I, I want to have a bigger font associated every time I insert a text button, you know, that's going to be from my PCC style. So I'm going to pick a size of 16 and say OK. Then I want to change the color, like the text color that's going to be used on this button. So I will select the magenta color because I'm going to create a magenta, you know, theme style here. All right. Now I'm going to pick my text object here. Here, I've got my appearance, my text color, so I'll pick my magenta color again. So now my text is magenta. Now I want a bigger default text size, so instead of 13, I'm going to select 16. So whenever I insert a text field, it's going to utilize you know, the bigger font size. The alignment here, I want my text always to be centered and middle justified within that text field when I insert it in my application. I can also select my I.O. field here. Maybe I want you know, it always, or the text here always to be centered and middle. My font size, maybe I want that always to be bigger at the same 16 size. Okay. And I can't forget, I also have to set the appearance for my text. So what I will do is I'll select the magenta color. So now I'm kind of creating a, you know, a magenta theme you know, at this point in time. When I'm satisfied you know, with the default changes that I'm going to make or apply to this style, what I can do is I can select release version. If I didn't like my changes, I can just say discard. Well, I like my changes, so I'm going to select release version. Uh, this here is going to delete all the unused versions or types of this style in the project. So I'm going to say OK. So now if I look at my project library here, OK, I have you know, the PCC style. OK, so that is uh, basically available to me. So now I'll go back into my project. All right. And what I will do is under the common data, under styles here, I'll open that up again, and I'll change my style style, instead of WinCC dark, I'm going to set it to the PCC style. Now, when I go back to my demo screen, you'll see the button here that's tied to the project style automatically took on those new attributes. Okay, So that's pretty cool. The next thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to implement <clears throat> uh, design sheets. So when we look at a particular object, and if I look at the style slash designs, there's a style item appearance that's associated with each style. By default, there's going to be one choice you know, within a particular style. But I can add different style item appearances you know, within my style. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. So in the types area, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new type. This time, instead of picking an HMI style, I'm going to pick an HMI style sheet. And I'm going to call this one the PCC style sheet. Okay. Then you have to select the type of style sheet. And so this is going to control you know, which attributes of which objects you're going to be able to apply or utilize. So I'm going to do text field and say OK. Now, when I do that, it's going to bring in these, the text field and an I.O. field here. Okay? And so now I can set the default attributes for this. Say, for example, I'm going to increase the corner radius here to 10. So all of my objects are going to have a nice you know, rounded radius. Okay? I want a big border here, so I'm going to change my border width to 5. So I increase the border width of, um, you know, of these objects here. Okay. The other thing I want to do is change you know, maybe the style, the line style of it. So I'll do a 3D appearance. And then I can pick the different colors that are associated with it. Since I'm doing a magenta theme, the upper section of my 3D area is going to be magenta. The lower section will be you know, a very light green. OK. 
okay? I can also set the background color here, okay? Maybe I'll pick a, like a duller, you know, orange color. So this is just setting the overall appearance, you know, for this particular style sheet. So what I will do is I will release the version, okay? Delete unused, say okay. And now I have my PCC style here. So what I'll do is I'll just edit the type within the library. Okay. Now what I can do is add in the additional objects here. So within my PCC style, okay, I'll add in a text field. And then what I'll do is I'll call that one text field big border. All right. And I will create an I.O. field as well. And then this one, oops, don't want two of them here. Just want the one here. So what I'll do is create an I.O. field big border. Now, these are the style sheets over here. So the different categories that you pick, you know, allow you to apply these styles or you know the styles within the sheets to your style. So here is the text field style sheet that I created. So I'm going to do is just drag that on top of my text field big border, drag it on top of my IO field. So I can apply you know my attributes from this style sheet to individuals or if I just select it in the background I can apply it to all of the objects within this area. I don't want to do that, you know, yet. So I just want to be able to apply it, you know, to these two objects here. So now what I'll do is I'll release the version. I want to update all instances in the project. Okay. And I want to go back to my screen. All right. So on my demo screen here, if I look at my toolbox here and I drag in a, a text field, okay, or I drag in an I.O. field, right? it's going to use the project design style. So now here, if I look at the style slash designs for the style item appearance, now when I select the drop down here, I can pick and choose between the different styles. So I've got a default setting or my text field big border. So I'll pick text field big border. Right? That applies to that object. I'll select my I.O. field here again. Now, because of that design style sheet, I can select the big border appearance. Okay, So this was a very quick introduction to HMI design styles and style sheets. If you have any questions, uh, please give us a call at 262-251-3000.